we're going to do a deep dive into some neighborhoods in the Cleveland area that can change on a street-by-street -street basis. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise, and this is the show where I help you guys get started in the Cleveland market, help you build your property portfolio in the Cleveland market. We even have other shows on Holton Wise TV where I help you sell your properties in the Cleveland market. So subscribe to the channel, however you get your Holton Wise TV, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, whatever. You want to work with us, you like what you see on the show, shoot us an email, give us your phone number, we'll call you, we'll talk to you about the process. What I'm doing today is I am working with my man, Dirty Sanchez. Dirty, you are an investor from California, and uh, you've reached out to me. Originally, you had reached out to me uh, because you wanted to get into single-family investing. So as I was you know, combing the market, looking for properties for you, uh, I was focusing on single-family homes, right, in reasonable neighborhoods, okay? But then you sent me a multifamily you were interested in the other day. I analyzed that for you, shot that over to you. Unfortunately, uh, that one was picked up by another buyer, so we didn't get to take that one down. Uh, but that, you know, gave me the idea that you are interested in multifamily as well. So I have a multifamily property that I'm going to be looking at for you today. Uh, but we definitely have to talk about the neighborhood, Dirty, because the neighborhood on this particular property, uh, it's an area of Cleveland that could really change on a street-by-street -street basis. And, you know, the stuff you sent me before, right, the singles, you know, these are pretty clear C and or D and or B type neighborhoods, right? So uh, it was very easy for me to, you know, just very simply with that ultimate guide, shoot you, you know, an idea of what... Uh, the neighborhood grade is, but when you get into certain areas, sometimes it can and differ, right? So we'll get into that. We'll do a nice deep dive in that right after this commercial break. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's jump right into the property, all right? 18306 East Park Drive, Cleveland 44119. Just hit the market two days ago, priced at 100K. Now, as far as photos of the property, we don't have very much, but it looks to be very much nice traditional duplex in Cleveland. We got two tenants in there. Both of these tenants are paying. Uh, below market rent. They are long-term tenants, legacy tenants, all right? Uh, each of them are currently paying five seventy-five dollars a piece right now, but market rents on this property are much more, okay? Two ones over here should be running at seven fifty. dollars okay? That's $1,500 a month, eighteen dollars for the year. After your fixed and variable expenses, I anticipate you bringing home $7,749. If you pick it up at the list price of hundred dollars which I absolutely think you're going to need to, that would be a 16% cash on cash return for the long haul. You put down $25,000, the bank puts down $75,000. All told, it's a pretty simple deal. Uh, we get all kinds of these deals in the Cleveland market, so nothing special in regards to the actual property itself. What I really want to focus on, though, what I really want to talk on is the neighborhood, all right? Now, in uh, your research in the Cleveland market and looking at Holton Wise and what we do here, I am sure you have come across something called the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. It's, a, it's an article, a blog, living blog, whatever you want to call it. I wrote this thing, oh, I don't know, five, six years ago, right? As I talk to you today, it's 2021. I wrote this thing in like 2015, I think, right? I graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area. Uh, on an A to F scale, okay? A being the least risky, F being the most risky. Google that, uh, or you could, you know, just go right here. You go to HoltonWise.com. You go to our tools and resources section, right? We got it right up here. Plus, we got links to property management software, prop stream. That's more data, just all kinds of stuff. But right here is the ultimate guide, right? And I color-coded it, right? Green, that's A, super low risk. Light green, yellow, red. Obviously, it's kind of self-explanatory, right? And I go over everything, meaning income, zip code, tax rate, all that jazz, right? And uh, some of it is pretty simple. 
self-explanatory. But when we get up into the east side, right, things get a little confusing. Things get a little street by street. And investors always seem to run into issues on the east side. Now, here's the thing. Cleveland is a very big city, right? And then we have suburbs all around Cleveland. One of the suburbs in Cleveland is called East Cleveland. A lot of people, when we say, like, it's Cleveland on the east side, they mistake that for the suburb of East Cleveland. The suburb of East Cleveland is what I would absolutely consider to be an F-class area. Likewise, there are several zip codes, neighborhoods, areas on the east side of Cleveland, in the city of Cleveland itself, that are also F-class. And then we have other suburbs on the east side of Cleveland that are not F-class, like your Garfield Heights, your Euclid, things of that nature. Now, this particular property is up here on the outskirts of North Collinwood. We're in between North Collinwood and Euclid. North Collinwood is a neighborhood in Cleveland on the east side. Okay, Euclid is an east side suburb of Cleveland on the east side, obviously east side suburb, right? I love Euclid. Euclid is a really good area to invest in. Uh, I consider it to be very low risk, and you have a new Amazon Fulfillment Center right over there, so I love it. It does have a point of sale system, which I don't love. As we go in closer, this particular area, and this may not be reflected as easily as it could be on the ultimate guide, right? This is what I would consider like a C-grade neighborhood, okay? And you could really figure that out by cruising down the street, right? What do you see here? You see a house on every single lot, folks. If you're in an F-class neighborhood, when you cruise down these streets, you're going to literally see house and then like five empty lots and another house, things of that nature, right? That's where investors get all screwed up, right? They think maybe it's in a good neighborhood, maybe it's not. It's hard to tell, right? Because the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, right? You know, that's a map I drew to give you a generalized idea, but it would be impossible uh, through that medium, right, through that map to actually go on like a street-by-street -street basis, right? So sometimes some folks are looking at properties in areas pretty close to this one that are in F-grade neighborhoods because things can change pretty quickly, right? So, like right here, this is what a good street looks like. Let's pull that map back up, all right? Do, do, do. So, that's what a pretty good street looks like. That's a really solid area, right? But then, you know, you can go to other areas in Cleveland and it can get really friggin' ugly, right? Like an east side area in Cleveland over here. This is how, dude. This is pretty rough, right? So let's let's take a look at what a street in the how neighborhood looks like, okay? So you got house, house, and then what do you know? Right? Vacant lot. Then we got another house. And then over here, we got, like, what is that? Like, probably 10 houses that got torn down. You got, I don't even know what that is, but, you know, it's hanging on the, uh, it's hanging on the light, or not the light, rather, the uh, uh, electrical uh, line, right? So this is a horribly distressed neighborhood. And by the way, if, if you're looking at that house, like, what in the hell is going on with that house? Uh, this neighborhood is, like, so horrible. It was, like, in the 90s. They were uh, giving people tax abatements to build, like, nice new houses. You didn't have to pay taxes for, like, 15 years because they were trying to get the neighborhood to turn around. It, it failed. It did not work, right? Obviously, as you can tell, nothing else was done besides that house. And then you have empty lot, this monstrosity, this nasty thing over here, right? So... This is what an F-grade neighborhood looks like. So I know a lot of you, you're reading that ultimate guide. You might be looking and you might think that uh, because of how the guide is colored and stuff, it's possible that your property uh, is in an F-class neighborhood when, in fact, it might not necessarily be the case. Likewise, you might think your property is in a C-grade neighborhood, and that's also not the case, right? That tool is meant to be utilized as the very first step in your due diligence, folks, you always, always, always have to dive even deeper when looking at these properties. And that, of course, is what this show is for. So let me know if you'd like to make an offer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.